Hi everyone, my name is Ruhi Bhaskar and this is a presentation of my project on the impact of features and popular music on physical and psychological stress responses. Stress is a state of threatened homeostasis and can lead to various physical and emotional problems like cardiovascular diseases, cancers, anxiety disorders, depression, and burnout. It interferes with cognitive processes such as executive function and self-regulation. Stress can begin in the womb and its effects can persist through adulthood or display immediately after a stressful situation. The endocrine system produces hormones that regulate growth, metabolism, electrolyte balance, reproduction, and development. It has regulatory effects on physiological systems, maintaining functions like homeostasis and metabolic demand. The endocrine system hormones like cortisol produced by the HPA axis affect every organ and are crucial for stress response and energy mobilization. Stress influences eating behaviors, leading to either undereating or overeating. Overeating often involves consuming high calorie, high fat, or high sugar foods and reducing physical activity. Good sleep improves brain performance, mood, and health. However, stress can lead to fragmented and unstable sleep, particularly in aging, causing severe sleep disturbances. Sleep loss increases sleepiness, fatigue, and reaction time, and affects alertness, cognition, productivity, safety, learning, and mood. Music therapy uses specific qualities of music within a therapeutic relationship to manage negative emotions and mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Music therapy's effectiveness is influenced by the listener's engagement and personal music preferences, rather than the specific music genre. Music activates various brain networks related to emotion, reward, and motivation and arousal, and is used for cognitive effects like cognitive reappraisal, searching for meaning, and diversion from intrusive thoughts and emotions. Using this information, I formed these hypotheses. If the music, if the music used for intervention from stress has a slower tempo, lower pitch, and more legato, a person's sleep would be increased. This hypothesis comes from research suggesting that slower, lower pitch music can relax, reduce anxiety, and promote better sleep quality. Slow tempos and low pitches are typically associated with the calmer effect of aiding sleep. If the music used for intervention from stress has a slower tempo, lower pitch, and more legato, then there would be less fluctuation of endocrine levels after a stressful situation. This is based on findings that music with these characteristics may help stabilize physiological stress responses like cortisol regulation. The smoother, slower, and lower pitch music might lead to more stable endocrine levels after a stressful situation. If the music used for stress intervention has a slower tempo, lower pitch, and more legato, the amount of weight a person gains would be decreased. This comes from the idea that stress can lead to weight gain, though increased cortisol production, through increased cortisol production, emotional eating, and disrupted metabolism. By listening to calming music to stabilize endocrine function, stress-induced stress weight gain would decrease. A systematic Google Scholar search was done to identify studies on the impact of stress, on, of music on stress, the endocrine system, sleep, and obesity using keywords like music therapy, stress reduction, endocrine response to music music and sleep, and music and weight management. Regarding stress, a study found that background music reduced students' stress level by about 33% during cadaver dissections compared to those without music, and also led to higher scores in two or three test sections. This shows that background music helps reduce stress and its side effects. Next, Cortisol levels are shown as higher after high-stress scenarios compared to low-stress ones, with cortisol mediating the stress response. Stress-induced hormonal changes increase hormone secretion. Experimental studies in which participants were subjected to a stress induction and then listened to self-selected music show decreased state anxiety, improved negative mood, and reduced stress compared to a non-music control group. Additionally, data shows that with music, salivary cortisol levels did not rise after stress, while in silence, they continue to increase for 30 minutes. Studies show that music reduces stress by preventing cortisol increases after high-stress scenarios and improving mood and anxiety. Elevated cortisol levels can lead to obesity. However, music listening can help lower cortisol levels. A study shows that hormone levels are higher in obese patients compared to normal weight individuals of, this, of the same age and gender. 
Stress starts a glucocorticoid secretion, which increases food motivation and insulin, which boosts food intake and contributes to obesity. While about 20% of people maintaining normal eating habits under stress, 40% or more increase their caloric intake. Even normal weight women who practice dietary restraint to stay thin may resort to stress eating. Music listening could serve as a healthy alternative to emotional eating, or EE, to improve physical health. Research found that both EE and discharge, releasing anger or sadness through music, impact depression, anxiety, and stress. EE was more common in those with high disordered mood levels, regardless of music listening, and lowest in those with low disordered mood and less reliance on music as a coping strategy. Since stress-induced cortisol can contribute to obesity, music listening may help regulate stress and offer a healthier alternative to EE. Regarding sleep, a study shows that musical features like middle range frequencies, medium tempo, legato articulation, major keys, and lyrics achieve a 78% success rate in sleep improvement. While slower frequencies, legato articulation, and high rhythm were less effective. This proves that sedative music does not always aid sleep. Another study found that the most effective genres on Spotify include sleep, K-pop, lullaby, lofi beats, pop or UK pop, chill hop, electro pop, and piano covers. Techno music, when tested, worsened the mental states of healthy individuals. In contrast, classical music improved their mental states. These studies show that certain musical features and genres, such as middle range frequencies and classical music, can enhance sleep quality and mental states, unlike genres like techno, indicating the importance of choosing the right music to improve sleep. Many areas should be further explored to help fully understand and address the gaps in this research. Further research is needed on the direct effects of music on obesity and endocrine fluctuations. Specifically, no studies have explored how musical features impact obesity, which complicates finding effective music for stress management. For example, the source discussing how music can regulate stress by lowering cortisol levels does not address how specific musical features affect obesity. Another example is the source discussing music listening as a healthy alternative to EE for physical health. This source did not specify which musical features will be most beneficial for using music as an EE alternative. Additionally, though many studies examine spe specific musical features, these findings are less practical for everyday music choices. Identifying particular genres or songs could help people more easily soothe stress. The source that found both EE and discharge are linked to depression, anxiety, and stress does not specify which genres might influence feelings of sadness. Additionally, the study on how background music affected students' stress levels during cadaver dissection didn't specify which genres were played to alleviate students' stress. Another example is a study showing that music prevented an increase in salivary cortisol levels after a stressor. This source did not specify which genres of music were used in testing cortisol fluctuations. Finally, this data would be updated to reflect current music trends. Preferences that were common in 2021 may have changed over time, requiring newer research for relevance. For example, the study on the effects of popular everyday music on sleep only provides results based on the music trends of 2021. The previously mentioned genres may no longer be as popular or preferred. Taking these factors into account, we can now draw the following conclusions. The hypotheses were partially supported as the criteria of the musical features were not completely accurate. While it was hypothesized that a slower tempo, lower pitch, and more legato would be more effective in relieving stress, it has been shown that the music interventions should be of middle range frequencies, medium tempo, legato articulation, major music, and lyrics to have the best results. Ultimately, people of all ages who are under any stress should use music as an intervention to alleviate themselves from problems like stress, sleep loss, obesity, and endocrine level fluctuation. Thank you for listening. And these are my preferences. Thank you.